Hey everyone, welcome back to my kitchen. What you're looking at right here is some oven roasted turkey wings with my version of a black bean chili. Yes, y'all had to improvise with some of the ingredients and some good old white rice. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel, y'all. If you have any questions, hit me up. Let's get into it. Hello beautiful people, welcome back to my kitchen. So today I am going to be making some oven roasted turkey wings with some white rice and uh, what you would consider my version of a black bean chili because I really and truly am missing some ingredients so I'm going to go ahead and put my own twist to it. So right here I have my turkey wings, I already washed them with water and vinegar. I have my chopped seasonings right here for my black bean chili. You're looking at some habanero peppers or quote unquote scotch bonnet peppers. You have some onions, some bell peppers. I have the red, orange, and green ones. And you have tomatoes right here. So for my seasonings, for my wings, I have, and I'm going to also use some of these seasonings in my chili as well. I have some seasonal or seasoned salt. I have onion powder, garlic powder, chili powder, some ground paprika, I have some crushed red pepper, my salt free seasoning, I have black pepper and right here I have the Goya black beans and I have my oil. So I want to start out with seasoning my wings. So the first thing I'm going to go in with is the seasonal, seasoned salt. And guys, I always tell you, don't use as much salt I, as I do if you can't eat that much sodium. I'm going in with my onion powder. Garlic powder. Black pepper, salt free seasoning. This has so much flavor to it. I love using this thing. Then I will add the paprika. This gives it a nice color. Some chili powder you don't have to add the chili powder actually if you don't like spicy don't but if you can tolerate some spicy you can and last I'm going to add my crushed red peppers oh, this one. So that's it for the dry ingredients. So now I'm going to add oil to this, you guys. I'm going to use the oil to help with seasoning my turkey wings. And because of this, I don't have to actually spray down the baking sheet that I'll be putting the turkey wings on. Alright guys, I'm about to start rubbing this in. I don't have any gloves at the moment, but my hands are clean. So, don't be afraid to get in. I want to make sure everything gets touched. These are big. And remember, when you're seasoning your meat, don't be afraid to dab your finger on your tongue to see if your seasonings are just right. That's, that's how you're going to know how it tastes, really and truly. So if it needs something else, that's how you're going to find out at this point before it's too late. Or if it has too much of something, you wash that joint off <laughs> and put something else. Alright guys, so I'm going to set this to the side. Hold up, let me taste. Perfect. So now I'm going to wash my hands. I'm going to set this to the side for the next 20 minutes. 
Then I'm going to put them in the baking sheet and pop them into the oven. Okay guys, what I have right here is the baking sheet. I'm about to put the turkey wings on here. And like I told you before, because I seasoned with oil, I don't worry about having to spray the sheet down with any nonstick spray. You can do so if you want to. But I don't want to at this moment. I don't need to because of that. So I'm just going to spread these out. Just good enough that it gets, you know, baked properly. It's a pretty big baking sheet to accommodate all these wings. So my turkey wings are on my baking sheet. And if you look closely, you'll see the oil, you know, that's dripping from the wings that I used in the seasoning process. So I'm, I'm actually preheating my oven at 425 degrees Fahrenheit. You guys, that's what we're going to use to do these turkey wings. So my oven is ready. I'm about to pop these in. So we're going to be cooking these for about 45 minutes, you guys. So 425 degrees for so 45 minutes. So I just put them into the oven. I'm about to close it up and let these cook for 45 minutes. Okay, you guys, so the wings are in the oven. I already cooked my rice ahead of time. I do have a tutorial on here that shows you how to prepare white rice my way. You can go ahead and find that video. Now we're gonna start working on this chili. It's pretty simple. I'm gonna pour some oil into this pot. I have this pot preheating. I'm not gonna use too much oil. Spread this. And what I'm gonna do is saute my onions, peppers, and the hot peppers. I'm gonna put the tomatoes in last. And then after sauteing those, I'm going to add my black beans, a little bit of ketchup. Yes, guys, ketchup. Look, my Jamaican, I don't like cook without ketchup when I cook certain things, right? So I'm gonna add some ketchup and some water and let it come to a simmer. And whatever powdered seasoning I need to add at that point, I will do so. Some of the is for two to three minutes. Then I will add the black beans, be glazed with some water, add some ketchup. And let and leave it to simmer. And believe me when I say you guys, it, it smells as good as it looks. I need to get this out of the spoon. Now I'm going to turn my flame down. My burner down, excuse me. I don't have a flame. Per 
you see that, guys? Looks good, right? One of the things that I am missing is cilantro. That gives a great flavor to it. I do not have that in the house at the moment. But if you can source cilantro to do this, that will be a plus, you guys. Trust me. I'm gonna add some water. What I'm going to do now is add some ketchup. I'm going to add some black pepper to this. And probably a little bit of garlic powder. And some soft free seasoning. seasoning all right you guys so I added all the powder seasonings then I added my ketchup so now I'm gonna leave it to simmer on medium heat doesn't that look good so now I'm just gonna cover my pot and let it cook for 20 to 25 minutes okay you guys so this is what it looks like after cooking for 15 minutes tastes really good and it's so spicy if you want to use less habanero peppers than I did please do that because I love really really spicy you guys you want to make sure that you stir your pot to make sure nothing is sticking it's reduced really nicely so I have another five minutes on the timer before I turn this off if I wanted to, I really could turn it off right now, but I'm going to let it cook all the way through. You may take less time to actually cook this. Like I said, I took 20 to 25 minutes. That's the typical time I used to cook this. But depending on the intensity of the flame you use, you may finish it in a faster time than what I'm doing. Alrighty, guys. So this is the black bean chili after cooking for 25 minutes on my medium heat guys see that it tastes amazing not gonna lie it hot butter yeah <laughs> so who can't eat pepper not gonna want to eat this the habanero pepper is no joke so like i was saying if you can't tolerate too much heat don't use as much habanero peppers as i did you can probably just use a piece of it but i wanted it really hot and i got it really really hot <laughs> so 20 to 25 minutes and as i was always saying earlier if you it depends on the intensity of the flame that you're using if you do a higher flame than what i use you may want to get it off sooner and check on it to make sure it's not sticking or burning. And these are the wings, you guys. We have another 20 minutes on these wings. But do you see that? They look so good and they smell great too. Alright guys, so this is what the turkey wings look like after cooking for 40... It's actually, I left them for 43 minutes, which is not far from 45. So I will say 40 to 45 minutes. It all depends on when you feel like you need to take them out. Once you pierce the meat and the juices run clear, your meat's ready. So I took these out after 43 minutes in the oven, guys. Now I'm about to plate so you can see what everything looks like together. And I'm going to dig in. Okay, you guys, so what you're looking at is the finished product. Tasted it. Tastes so good. I hope you guys have as much fun as I did making this dish. And I hope you enjoy it as well. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.